Moving over to the engine controls. You can see we've got a key start here. If you're going to run wireless control, you don't even need that, okay? In fact, I recommend you just don't even put it in. Wireless control, the key start, so to speak, is right on here. We'll come back to that. We're going to start with manual operation. When I say manual, it means not remote. So, we turn our key to the on position. You heard that sound. That's the uh, fuel injectors loading. And that was also, for a wireless remote model, it's opening up the jetting valve in the back. Um, now we've moved there, we can turn the key and start. I won't do that for sake of noise. Just like you're starting your car, um, it's a fuel injected engine. You don't have to pull a choke or anything like that. It can start dead cold, uh, even with the wireless remote control. Or if you've got a propane model, that's a pressurized fuel system also. So again, no choke. Uh, on your manual jitter, if you do not have wireless control, like we showed you a moment ago, for throttling, you're going to have a lever arm here. Throttle up, throttle down. Um, on a wireless remote model, when you're running in manual mode, okay, not with the remote, you're going to be throttling up and down with this toggle switch. Each touch is going to give you a few hundred RPMs. If you just hold it down, it's going to max out at full throttle and you can't really go over, okay? And then you can just hold it down to go down to idle if you wish. Pretty straightforward. Now, controlling pressure, we mentioned moments ago that we have a pressure regulator here, but if you're running on the main jetter hose with the nozzle right on the end, and you're not running, say, a mini hose, uh, you pretty much can control your throttle, or control your pressure, excuse me, with your throttle up down. Because as you throttle up, you're bringing more water to the nozzle. The nozzle is the main point of resistance that creates pressure. So the more water we put up against that nozzle, the higher the pressure becomes. So very simply, the easiest way to adjust pressure is with your throttle. Throttle up for more pressure, which at the same time is more flow. Throttle down for less pressure, less flow. And um, just to make the point on the gallons per minute, when you turn the jetter on, it just doesn't suddenly create, in this case, 12 gallons at 3,000 PSI. It builds it up. So you, when you go to full throttle, full throttle is full gallons per minute. Half throttle is half gallons a minute, right? Zero throttle is no gallons a minute, it's off, okay? So as you're raising flow, you're raising pressure at the same time, okay? It's not a compressor. You don't turn it on and it builds up a bunch of pressure and you stick it in the line and release it. No, uh, it's a hydraulic system. So it builds pressure based on pushing flow to the resistance of the jetting nozzle. Now, for those of you that have wireless remote control, Let's talk about controlling the throttle and everything with that. So the first thing I need to do is I'm going to take the key out so nobody gets confused and tries to turn the key on and off. I'm just going to get it out of the play. And I need to next turn my remote switch on. You hear that valve in the back? That's the wirelessly controlled jetting valve getting set in the safety position. Back over here for a moment. When we take this valve and have it down, we call that the safety position. But if I'm going to jet wirelessly, the machine automatically put the secondary valve in safety. So now I bring this one all the way up so I can control my jetting right here. Here we have a close-up of your wireless remote control. Now starting at the bottom, the engine on switch, as I push that, you can hear the fuel injector load up. This is like turning your key to the on position, but not quite turning it to start. To start, we would push this button. I'm not gonna go ahead and run it but you have to hold it down till it starts, of course. Now, as we want to throttle up and down, there's down, which moves the throttle arm. There's the turtle, and then the rabbit or the hare, just throttle up. And you can just touch it, touch it, touch it, or you can hold them down, just like we did with the toggle switch on the panel. Up here, here's your pressure on and off, or you can call it your jetting on and off. As I push that, you can hear the jetting control valve moving to Let's call it the on position or the pressure up. And I push it again and it opens up and dumps the water back to the tank to delete the pressure. And at that point, turn it back on. I'd be loading up and starting to jet the line. I throttle up here to bring my pressure up. Again, bring the pressure down here. And then when I'm done, I go pressure off and then hit the kill button. Now, if I am running, let's go ahead and just run for a moment. 
I can kill very quickly, just like that. So you can call this button also your safety kill. No matter what's happening, you can always push this button and turn everything off. Now for machines like this one that has an adjustable speed controlled electric motor hose reel, then I can push the hose reel button and you can hear it engage there. And that will wind the reel whichever direction that the main control is set for. And we'll show you that here in another scene coming up. Okay, now we've shown you the remote control. When you're done jetting, or if you're gonna go back to manual control with the key, you want to turn the remote system off and that also will keep it so there's no draw on the battery and you know, say you've got it set aside for an overnight or you haven't jetted for a week, we wanna make sure this is off. We also, for safety's sake, wanna take our main jetting control valve, flow control valve back down to the safety position. And it's been very important with this valve to make sure it's all the way down or when you're jetting, it's all the way up. People wear these out prematurely by leaving, say, about 90% up, and it's weeping water past the seats and the valve at high velocity, which wears it out quickly. So when you're jetting, this goes all the way up. When you're not jetting, it goes all the way down. <laughs> 